Hello gelato lovers, the sun is rising and today I'm going to bring you to a very special place because we are going to do some tests on an industrial pilot plant. As you probably know, the industrial production of gelato and ice cream is different in many ways from the artisanal one. One of the main differences is the machinery that is used. Industrially we don't use a batch freezer, but we use a continuous freezer, where the ice cream can be produced non-stop. Instead of pouring into the batch freezer a certain volume of mix, in a continuous freezer what we do is to pump gelato mix and air at a constant rate. This is not the only difference, of course. For example, in an industrial production we always want an homogenizer that is extremely helpful in extending the shelf life of the product. I will tell you a bit more later, but now it's time to leave and go to the lab. Here we have a small homogenizer. In a production scale, it is often connected directly with the pasteurizers and cooling tanks. Then we have the continuous freezer, with a very small freezing cylinder that allows for very small batches. We first load it with water to control there are no leaks. And we actually found that one spring was not well to be created, so now we fix it and then we are ready to start with the actual mixes. We first put a standard mix of which we know the expected result. In this way we get the machine cold and running properly. After this we can proceed with our mix to test. <laughs> Now that the machine is at its regime flow, we can measure the overrun with measuring cap we had in the freezer. Here we have around 95-100% overrun, which is quite a lot. And now let's taste it. To be sure, we measure the overrun at the end as well and then we pack some product for shelf life testing and to keep it in our freezers. I'm now back from the lab and you've seen a little bit what is behind the research and development process when moving to industrial scale. As you can imagine, this type of testing is not cheap but is essential because the many parameters involved when using industrial scale machinery. The tests of today were quite successful, so the next step is to go into the factory and test the recipe on a larger scale. 
If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more behind the scenes of the Gelato world. If you want to learn more about Gelato, don't forget to check out the Gelato Expert Academy, of which you will find the link in the description. See you in the next video that will be about melting of gelato. See you soon!